Hi, I'm Mikey Dredd, and this is Bowling Science. Today, we're going to discuss pin lengths, and we're going to look at some footage of how three different pin lengths on three different types of cores and bowling balls affects axis migration and how the ball goes through the pins. This study is being done in conjunction with Mo Pinnell from Radical Bowling Technologies in our efforts to further understand, develop, and push the boundaries of bowling ball technology and layouts. Today's episode is brought to you by www.bowling.science, where you can find all the new Bowling Science merch from Cool Wick. So check that out if you're trying to stay cool this season. Be sure also to hit that thumbs up button if you like the video and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of the Bowling Science content in the future. We will have a Mo Monday or some follow-up footage with Mo himself breaking down his findings and what he believes based on this footage. All three balls have the same PSA location and the same VAL angle. The only thing changed is the pin length. The pin lengths used were one and three quarter inches for the short pins, three and a half inches for the medium length pins, and five and a quarter inches for the long pins. The results solid will allow you to see those pin lengths on a strong asymmetrical core that has an intermediate diff to diff ratio of over 0.5 when drilled. We'll also see it on our benchmark controllable symmetrical core in the bonus and in our benchmark asymmetrical, the incognito. We will check in with Mo in our follow-up. Thank you for joining us today. Stick around to the end of the video for a bonus clip with Brandon Johnson and his new bonus pearl. Love Bowling Science. All right, yeah. <laughs> it fell over, bro. 